How's it going everybody? Ad Ricker here and I have a new shipment from He Wing, the T1 Ranger. And if you've seen my last couple of videos, I have videos of me chasing the He Wing T1 Ranger with my FPV quad. Uh, Shelby Vo was flying at the time, and I thought, how cool would it be to finally build my own? So He Wing has sent me the T1 Ranger, the kit, so I can put it together, and Shelby's gonna help me put it together. Um, actually, Shelby's right here. What was he doing? I have no idea. I'll review it later. So this is this is Shelby. See his T1. That's what it's gonna look like. The T1 Ranger. Bring it a little further back so you can see. What's that? <laughs> what is that? The what brains. is going on? <laughs> is, there, is it okay? Yeah, right. Okay. It's okay. And so this is what it's gonna look like when we build it. We also gonna have the the top compartment covered and the battery inside. Marty, show yours as well. And uh, show your faces too. Uh, too. Uh, Marty, you see? Yeah, so that's Marty. And so this is the T1 Ranger that he built. Looks slightly different. That's interesting. You have the board on the top. Yeah. <clears throat> it's a 360. Go to. Go yeah. to. Yeah. It was literally designed oh. so you can put either the Vista mm. up here mm -hmm. and or this mount right here. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. The cool thing about He Wing uh, is the way they designed it is it ships in this box right here. And the whole concept is you can break it back down and then put it back in the box. If you need a transport, I've been working with He Wing for about a, a year now, and helped uh, proto all these. So this is the V2, right? You got V2. Yes. So V2 is beefed up. Um, it's uh, Metal Gear servos and a carbon uh, tail boom section. Motors. And then uh, in, uh, bigger motors. Yeah. Uh, they come in three boxes. It's very simple. This is going to have your fuselage. It's real easy. It, out. it has some bits and pieces in there. Which, that's, that's all the extra stuff. So basically, Shelby said, bring your Caddx Vista, which is yep. right here. Yep. Um, also, let's see, a Crossfire Nano. We have the Mortal T, but we also have the regular uh, so I've, stock antenna. And I run this. Okay, yeah. Versus this. And then I have the full-size DJI FPV. Yeah, we'd have and to then I also it out have the Nebula, or the um, we'll run that. Polar. Yeah, yeah um, that's a better one. Okay, very cool. So it comes with PDB, uh, and then some... Uh, Breakout cables right here, uh, with pins, and the wings just slot into there. I guess 2200 3S yep. is what this runs off of. I went with Avonic, because mm -hmm. uh, I've used Avonic a lot, especially for my, my quads. So hopefully this holds together, it's 50C. Yeah, that's fine. And uh, we'll run plenty. that. It's plenty. Uh, then you'll cruise probably for 20 minutes, about what you're gonna get. 20 minutes? Yeah, yeah. 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 about 20 minutes. Crazy. Uh, in this box two, we'll have uh, the tail section, it should, and then your bits and pieces, so. You get a couple bags with uh, some uh, propellers, a uh, hex wrench, or whatever Allen key is. Uh, it's not much. There's your boom. Mm -hmm. uh, this is what you get in uh, box two. So you'll get all this stuff right here. Uh, this is, I believe, your LED control board. Tail section, uh, the boom. Unfortunately, it's metal, so I'll call Hewing and say what's going on because it's supposed to be carbon. Mm. Um, wheels, I don't recommend using them. They're just, honestly, they're garbage. They're just foam. They'll break. They fall off. It's not worth it. You don't need it. Belly, you belly kind of, so you kind of just land and take off. Well, you yeah. take off by throwing. Correct. You land by skidding. Exactly. Okay. Yep. Just belly land and just land in grass, you know. It'll land in concrete. Fine. Uh, the foam's really, really good. It's good material as far as foam goes. Um, gotcha. Uh, and then you get a spar. This is your main spar. Uh, it's just literally goes across. Yep, goes across just like so. So that holds the wings solid. Yep. Uh, when they're connected, okay. So you just slide it through like, like yeah. Okay. And then box three. All right, is going to have uh, the main wings. So nice. your motors are already on there. Yeah. ESC is underneath here. Okay. Uh, what, what size ESC? I can't remember. Thirty maybe. Yeah, maybe. Um, these are fourteen oh six motors, uh, thirty one fifty kV. Okay, it comes with propellers, yep. right? Mm -hmm. and then Stock propellers. We recommend you can also get the upgraded versions. Uh, I think HQ or somebody has them. I'll have to, I'll have to find out for sure. Uh, there's nothing really have to do. You're going to put some linkages in here. That's nothing more than just a little bit of glue. Um, we'll fit them in there. They're pretty much press fit, but we use glue just to uh, reinforce it. And you don't have to do anything. It's pretty beefy too. Nice, yeah. So, so I was, I was kind of looking at these good. earlier. Yeah, so here's the connection point. Yeah, so there's um, the breakout and here's the pins in which you will connect. Watch here, I'll show you. Just get on the hole, there's a hole for mm -hmm. it. And slide it in and... Yeah. Ha having seen you crash this sometimes, or maybe yep. if I hit you and you went down, mm -hmm. I've seen these wings pop off. Correct. So that's kind of almost like a stress relief point where you just, instead of it breaking, right. it actually is designed to 
uh, separate, Correct. and then you can just pop them right back in, right? Correct, because you glue it down and really get it taped up or whatever and just anchor it. Mm -hmm. When you go to crash it, then you're gonna crack the frame. You're actually gonna damage it. A lot of engineering, I have to say, actually went into this little aircraft. So you get, the, you get the boom. Yep. And get the tail, and you're gonna feed uh, this through, and you're gonna see some holes right here. And those are to line up for here. Okay. So it's actually underneath. Mm -hmm. So just make sure you're lining it and feeding it the right way. And I'm gonna pull it out a little bit right here. So you're gonna see a, a, a big hole and then a smaller hole towards the end right there. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna correspond that with that, right? So you line those two up. And it's just a function of wiggling it and getting it in to catch with the little dove system, dove gotcha. tail system you got in there. And okay. then you'll see the holes. Mm -hmm. And you're going to put the screws, which are in this bag right here. And we'll cop those in. I'll have Marty do that in a minute. So you're going to get this little collar. It's in your bag of bits and pieces. Mm -hmm. And you just screw it on here like this. Like so. Get it started. And then you feed this in. So you feed the servo line through. So just slide right through. If you have tweezers, that might help you a little bit. Make sure the servo horn is faced up. Okay. And just slide it in. It'll lock. You want to make sure it's locked in place. Mm -hmm. So I can't do any little twisties on it, right? Okay. And then you just tighten down. All right, you snug it down pretty good, right? You don't want to get overboard, it's just plastic. So uh, quarter turn past finger tight It's probably good enough. Check it, make sure it's nice and straight. And you'll see right down yep. there, nice and straight. Mm -hmm. and that's pretty much it for that. Then you take the tail section, it's got a little notch, and you got to line it up to the rear. So push the servo arm out. This is where it's going to connect. So get it over there, get it out of the way. <clears throat> and you line it up like so. All right, it's just going to be kind of loose. Okay. Don't worry about it. We're going to flip it over. So you put the what is it? Which length is that one? The uh, twenty. Twenty it says the long screw goes here. Then there's going to be another short screw uh, that's different than the majority of them, and that's the other one you're going to use on the tail. And then your tail's on. So in the bag you'll get a long one, and then you'll get another short one about the same size as the. There's, there's all these right here. These are like wood screws. Uh, and you'll get one that's just kind of a little different. The head's different, and that's the one you're going to use. You get three of these. And then you're going to get three of these. You're going to pair them up. So you're going to go one here, one here, and one there. So it's for your controls. So you pull them off. You've got little tabs. Just break. And you go underneath. Underneath. Yeah. And this is the way you're going to want to do it. They've already got a cut for you. It's very easy. So push through. It's going to work it nice and easy. Slides right in. Take that other piece that was with it. Is that how you do yours? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Flat. Flat. It's like, oh, so Marty's going to put in the clip the way he does it. You want to get some pressure, you want it to catch on there's little teeth on yeah. it. Yeah. Oh. Just little plastic teeth, that's it. So, they'll pop off over time. It depends on how aggressive you are. They'll eventually pop loose. Just glue them on eventually. And then just rinse and repeat. And now your rudder, your rudder is up top though, so it's a little different. Okay. Your rudder's up top. It's going in from the top to the bottom. Right, sure. correct. Let's work it in. Get that back again, drop it in. Push from underneath. You gotta be careful back here, okay? Because you don't want to push down your tail sections on. Right, exactly. You wanna be careful. So you can put the rudder on at the end if you want, but it's just it's a little harder, I guess. Okay, that's good enough. Give it a little pull. Make sure it's snug. Flip it back over. And then you're gonna get these three bars. Probably better on white here. Get those three called push rods. The way it works is like this. This is your spare. You gotta give you a spare. That's good. Yep. And they give you a spare one of these. So you just screw this on. It's threaded. And we have to figure that out, how long this is going to be, right? So okay. you screw them on. And this is the push rod to control your control surfaces for my elevator and my ailerons. So the way to do it is this. You take your servo and you put it straight up, 90 degrees. Okay? As best you can. Okay. Just push the, so the Push rod needs to be up 90 degrees, straight up, okay? And then this right here, control surface, on the back side, you just want to kind of hold it together and you want it to be nice and straight. And you don't want any lift on it. You'll go to the top, 
this will be more docile, putting in this position. Okay. And then you just hold it where you need to, and then you're gonna figure out where this nipple needs to go in. It needs to go in the top hole here. Top hole. Top. Yep, top and top. That's what we've discovered. Get it, hold it with your thumb, eyeball it, and go, okay, I gotta, I gotta tighten in quite a bit there. I gotta get this nipple to this hole right here. Mm -hmm. This nipple to this hole. Mm -hmm. So I gotta tighten it in. Just go right here. Gotcha, I see. So as you turn that, it gets shorter. Correct. You just take your time. There's no rush. Don't rush building a wing. Almost. All right. Get about. Out there. Yeah. There we go. Very cool. Top hatch. Mm -hmm. It's kind of same thing like you did on your, you know, clipses here. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's got the back plate. Mm -hmm. This it's also doubles as your CG. CG. CGB. Right there. Which means oh, center of gravity. Yeah. So points have to have, um, they have to be perfectly balanced. They're C center of gravity, and when it's short for, that's why we say CG. Uh, if not, you'll be either tail heavy or nose heavy, and one can be detrimental. You can be a little nose heavy. Tail heavy. But tail heavy is, that's it. You're done. That's so it. when you go to launch, your tail's so heavy, and when you take off, you literally just loop, and then you just crash. There's no recovery. So it's better to be nose heavy than tail heavy. So, very crucial in this portion right here, once it's all set, it clasps to the, the spar run right here. Here's the back. Right there. Goes like this. It's two part canopy, and then you go over the top like this. Yeah. yeah. Probably so it clicks. This yeah. And then when you have battery and everything in there, right, you'll uh, pick I it see. up from yeah. here, mm -hmm. and you'll use this to balance it. That's cool. Mm -hmm. And as of right now, you're extremely tail heavy. Right. And so one time. <laughs> you, okay. run, you run slap the battery in it immediately. Oh, yeah. So perfectly that's balanced. perfect, but then we're going to add the Vista and stuff, so it could right. be. You get more. You just slide the battery. And then you slide the battery. I got you. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's, that's and what this is what you use to shift. How are we fixing the battery in place? Are we sticking it or are we just. No Velcro right Oh, here. I see. Velcro, Velcro battery strap. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah. This is your LED. All right, so this right here is your LED control board. Okay. You're going to have two wires in here, and they're going to be labeled on this breakout. And one's going to say LEDs. Okay. On one side and the other. Mm -hmm. and you take those two, and you feed them into the female ends of here. Male ends, I guess. Uh, and then you solder them on to the corresponding pads. Gotcha. Provide it power. It's already got a little servo lead in there for you to just solder it on positive and negative, and you just jump it in here. It's got a 5-volt out. It's got a 5-volt out somewhere. So that's LED control, but do I even need tips are right. Tips are right here. Oh, okay. So you'll, all right, so here's your battery yeah. plate. Mm -hmm. And you'll just, once you figure out the CG after you've put everything in, okay. screw okay, it. then right. we'll do this last. But this yeah. is your battery um, strapping system, right? Okay. And you'll screw it down with some of these wood screws right here. Mm -hmm. yeah. We'll do that at the end. So this is mounted right here, and it's for Vista. Do we need longer cables? Because like, I have no, this right now. Your camera's right here. Right, that's fine. But, but your break, yeah, yes. your breakout cable here for this, you're gonna have to. So they have to be way longer. Okay. Yep. yep. And, and I don't need the signal like the um, TX and RX on the Vista. I just need the power. Power and ground. It's power and ground. Okay. Yeah. So, so basically, then also I would uh, take off um, auto temp control on the Correct. Vista in mm -hmm. order to have full power mm -hmm. when I'm flying. Okay. And then where's this going? Uh, it's anywhere you want it. So it's really up to you. They don't have a mounting system. You can do wherever you want, really. So you, like I embed mine sometimes. Sometimes I have it hanging out. Depends on the aircraft, right? Now I've been told the best camera to use with this is going to be the Nebula Pro Nano. I have the Vista in there. I have the camera in there. Um, we just uh, hooked it up. We, we wired it. And so now I'm gonna power it on with the battery and see if I can get an image out of the goggles and make sure that the camera is no, right right side, side up. Yeah. And it is. Okay, so here's Crossfire Nano. Um, Do you have the PWM little board for this? Mm, what do you mean? It's a cross for, uh, Crossfire mm. PWM out. Basically, it rests on here. Rests on here. Mm -hmm. 
like that. So those pans will go to those. Oh, okay. And those pans go to there. Oh, and then that's what goes into some of yeah, these this things. Yeah, because the servos, oh. you got, Peter, unless you was running a flight controller, yeah, yeah. you wouldn't have to worry about this. Wow. But since you run just raw, you need BLW, PWM out. And this turns in this into a, was it six channels? Yeah, six channels. So we took off the wires and temporarily the UFL connector. Now we're going to put it onto the adapter. So. If it was a fresh crossfire, mm -hmm. it would just slide right on. I gotcha. But since you, this one's already been kind of used, you yeah. just kind of, once you melt it, it'll kind of slide down. You want me to heat up those pads? Or we yeah, we heat up with the pads and it'll somewhat go on there. I'm going to put the UFL back on and we're going to put some hot glue on there as well as hot glue this antenna to the side to make sure that's sturdy. For the little whip antenna then, where would you mount this? Inside as well? Um, okay. You okay, so you have yours mounted here. Yeah, on the outside. Your, your crossfire. Gotcha. So, um, that's cool. And, and I guess so I could have it mounted out the back so then you would have it somewhere sticking yeah, out. Yeah, if you're going to do something like this, you need to stick it in first and then mm -hmm. connect it. Uh, we have to figure out the P PWM uh, connections mm -hmm. on this adapter. The way it's laid out sometimes, uh, like throttle, aileron, elevator, uh, rudder. Oh, Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. like, yeah. Like, that's your elevator, because it's the only one coming from the back. Okay, I see. The signal wire, mm -hmm. the white, that goes on top. Grounds on the bottom. Okay. Okay. Like, these are labeled. So this is LEDs back here in the back. These two, mm -hmm. these are LEDs, so we ain't worried about that. And these are your motors. And these are your ailerons. All right. Gotcha. All right. Well, the Y connector is very important. That's something you had to provide for us today yep. in order to do this. I know you can buy them separately. On yeah, this one has been yeah. made. Make sure the signal's on top, matches the connection on this. Okay. And that's it. You're only using three channels, basically. One nice. for your elevator, your ailerons, and your motors. They're all together, so you don't have to use any other. But if you was running, like, if you didn't have a Y, you can use another channel and then program your radio to do all the controls. We have it powered on now. Um, it's bound. I saw uh, the, what we call the ailerons uh, twitch. Yeah, yeah, ailerons are twitch, but the channel mapping ain't right. Okay. Yeah. We need to change that to channel one. Channel two. Channel three and channels are reversed. So when I push left, this should go up mm. and this one should go down. Okay. It's backwards. Yeah, inverted. That's it. So go to down here, invert channel one. So now right, left. So good. Nice. And then channel two, edit and invert it. So up, down. Nice. And then, only thing I do is calibrate your ESCs. All right, so okay. it's off, right? Yes. All right, full throttle, plug it in. Let do that. Bring it down. Okay, we're on the home stretch. Uh, what we're gonna do now is check for the CG. Yeah. Okay, right. and so then you lift this up, yep. and you hope that it does something like that? Yeah. All right, go back more towards the back. Oh, I see. Right there. Okay, so a little nose heavy, maybe a little bit. Looks better. Considering how far back the battery is, mm -hmm. with what I have that mounted, I think that might be the best we can do. Right there. Yeah, sweet. All right, you say we take this out? Yep. Sweet. Put the props on, take it out. Okay, we got the props on, we're good to go.